Welcome back. Wow, what a what a time to be sitting at home watching YouTube. Couldn't think of a better time for it. Anyway, so a lot of you have asked me to do a video on coronavirus. So it looks like yet again, Uncle Dom is the guiding light in times of darkness, which is either terrifying or uplifting. Or as I like to see it, terrifyingly uplifting. So what we got here is we're gonna cut through all the media bullshit and get right down to the facts. Coronavirus, pros and cons. What are they? Let's find out. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with the cons to get all the negativity behind us, which was actually my New Year's resolution. And as you can see, with a little bit of positivity, I have survived World War III, the death of the GOAT, RIP, Australia being completely fucking on fire, and um, the worst pandemic since the dad bot. TikTok. Fucking TikTok. God have mercy on our fucking souls. But coronavirus, bring it the fuck on. We're gonna start here with the big D. Death. Okay, so now here's the facts. The chances of you dying from coronavirus are actually pretty small compared to, let's say, blowing your fucking brains out when your Tinder date starts talking about birth charts, which are, wait for it, astronomical. But anyway, death, pretty obvious kind. No arguments there. But you could make the argument that death could be a pro. Now hear me out. Death, the eternal slumber. And who hasn't wanted to sleep forever? I know I have. Question, is waking up the worst part of your day? Then I've got the solution for you. Death. But wait, there's more. No wait, there's not. Cause you're dead. Was that just a sales pitch for death? Yes, yes it was. And now I know things are getting pretty grim pretty fast here, but so is this fucking year. So all I'm saying is like maybe now is not the worst time to hit that permanent snooze button. Five more minutes, forever. Okay, next, another con here, this is a big one, this is a huge one. Miss, this is probably the biggest one. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I might move it up over death, and here's why, okay? Now missing the gym because you're sick is no laughing matter. Like girls who think they're funny because they're fluent in sarcasm. Literally nobody's laughing. Now it's no secret here that a meathead's biggest fear is not for his own safety, but the safety of his gains. Like a mother's instinct to protect her young. Also like a mother, you've raised your gains since birth. These are your muscle children, your brawn spawn, game babies, power jack kids. So being stuck at home, not being able to lift, and watching your gains wither away and die is a fate worse than actually dying. It's enough to bring a leg day skipper to full death. Now on the other hand, other people missing the gym because they're sick is a definite pro. Now you have access to a virtually empty gym so you can superset bench with more bench, creep insta thoughts with your brightness on high, take selfies without shame, and curl on the squat rack like a fucking anarchist. And on top of that, now you will have the advantage in your quest to be the most alpha in the gym. Now while everyone is quarantined and rotting away, you'll be at the gym hoarding games like fucking toilet paper because you'll be shitting on these betas. And now a word from our sponsor, Vita Goods Form Fit Digital Scale and Body Analyzer. Now being a meathead without a scale is like Instagram without likes. How are you supposed to know how alpha you are if you can't measure it? Thanks to the Form Fit Digital Scale and Body Analyzer, now you can keep track of every pound you gain. It's like bowling. You gotta break 150 to be considered alive. Over 200, you're rolling thunder and you're hitting more X's than a drum text. 300 and up, your whole fucking week. But there's more to it. It also tracks your body fat. So you can tell people your fat percentage, like a pack of ground beef. And it also tracks your muscle mass. So you know what percent meathead is in your DNA. No surprises here, I'm 99% muscle mass. The other 1% is 100% muscle mass. 199% pure muscle, baby. What? There's more? It even tracks your bone density. And no, not the kind I thought at first, which let me tell you, is denser than drinking a glass of peanut butter. But like, your skeleton. And lastly, it even measures your water weight. So you can stop or start blaming creatine for your water retention. To get 60% off this scale, click the link in the description below. Vitagoods.com slash broscience. Discount code broscience. Back over the cons. Economic depression. Now there's a lot of concern that the coronavirus will trigger an economic depression. With businesses shutting down, people unable to work, and not being able to get supreme hoodies from China. As you can see, this is a major issue. 
But, jokes on you, economy, our entire generation was born in a depression. It's called life, and it fucking sucks. So take a seat, economy, grab some hard seltzers, bang down a few zannies, and make some memes to cope with the depression like the rest of us. Seriously, grow up. Tired of fucking whining. Oh, I'm depressed. Just fuck, fucking deal with it. Economy, whatever. I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it just fine. You don't see me fucking whining. I don't get a fucking therapist. I don't care, dude. The economy will fucking depressed. Depression isn't real. Is happiness even real? <laughs> I've never felt it, so how would I know? Okay, pro. Excuse to ghost chicks. What's the hardest part about being a fuckboy? Carrying the weight of the guilt of emotionally scarring women? Fuck no. I'm a gym rat. I carry useless shit for fun. The hardest part is coming up with fresh excuses to get out of hanging with girls before 2 a.m. But now thanks to coronavirus, I can just tell her I'm practicing social distancing to minimize the spread of the disease. Now this way, I sound like a hero and I also don't have to see her out in public for anything that even remotely resembles a date. Instead, what I can do is when 2 a.m. rolls around, I can hit her up for some Q&A. Quarantine and anal. Boom You can't spread coronavirus through anal, but you can spread them cheeks. Now, people might say, who told you that? Who did? I did. But who told me that? Who did? Who, like, who told, who told you that? I told you that. Who told me that? Who? 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 Fucking Al with me. Al will fucking swoop in and was like, who? Who? Who are you gonna fuck in the butt tonight, Dom? And then I was like, anybody. Hit me up, I'm bored. Con. No sports. I mean, without sports, what are bros supposed to talk about to convince people to not get? What am I supposed to gamble away all my money on? Bitcoin again? Come to think of it though, that's not a bad idea. Bitcoin is actually super low right now. So it would actually be a perfect time to invest. So that way, if the world ends, I'll have millions of dollars in fake money in a cloud wallet that I can't take out or use to buy anything. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more it's like, why haven't I done this before? Oh, I did. I did do this before. And I lost, I lost a lot of money. But it's not real money. So I didn't lose it. So did I? Pro! Cheap flights. It's YOLO season, baby. Now, it's no coincidence that Corona's slogan is find your beach. And now, thanks to coronavirus, you can find that beach for $17 round trip, one way. Because you're going to be cast away on that beach like Tom Hanks. Fuck Tom Hanks. Ah, uh, fuck shit, Tom. God damn it. Love that guy. Get well soon, Force Pump. Oh, that's a con. That's a con. Con. Emails. Endless fucking emails from every company on earth about how they're handling COVID-19. No, I don't need to know how Pokemon Go is handling coronavirus. And I'm like 90% sure you started this shit. I knew going outside and interacting with people was a bad fucking idea. Now look at us. Stuck inside, not able to interact with people or go outside even if we wanted to. Which we don't. Pro. Work from home. Now working from home is pretty much the American dream. It's like being a stay-at-home mom without having to go on Facebook to validate how hard your job is. Or like being an influencer, without having to go on Instagram to validate your entire existence. Pro, trial run for zombie apocalypse. Now to me, the coronavirus in comparison to let's say zombies, feels like God is just lobbing us a softball. Here you go, let's see how you deal with it. It's like the intro level to a video game with the difficulty set to easy. So you learn the controls and you don't die instantly. So that way, you know, when it comes with the fucking high heat, and someone, I don't know, fucks a raccoon and kicks off World War Z, this time we'll be prepared. Probably, I think. I don't know, but the memes though will be lit. Pro, good hygiene. Now this is actually incredible that it has to be on the board here, but I'm pretty sure before the coronavirus, everyone thought hygiene was just those high-waisted pants that chicks wore to hide their fupa. But now thanks to the spread of this disease, we are now learning how to wash our hands. Looking at you, people who don't shower before the gym, smelling like socks and fucking vinegar. You are disgusting and selfish. And lastly, to round out the pros, cheap Corona. Now because of coronavirus, Corona beer stock has actually dropped, which is fucking absurd to think that people would actually believe there's any correlation between coronavirus and Corona beer. But the good news is, Cheap fucking Corona. It's like beat the clock at Ball Ray at the Jersey Shore. Except the clock is death. And the Jersey Shore is no longer the biggest threat to public safety. 
This is a Modelo though, because I'm not taking any fucking chances. I am taking checks though, if you want to sponsor me, Modelo. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos every pandemic that forces you to sit inside and watch nothing but YouTube videos. Lucky me. Make sure to go to DomLix.com to stock up on essentials for these hard times. Just remember, if you die, that's the outfit you're going to be wearing forever. So it might as well be fresh. Like this tracksuit. Bandana. Pull up. Not out. Shirt. Which is great if you want to procreate the best-selling baby grota shirt. The hit quarantine game, Do You Even Live? Now you can be stuck in a room with people for weeks while you prove to them why they fucking suck and why you're better than them.